You're welcome. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from, I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazen Madab Chumachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Anenri. Anenri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB, in case you don't know. I am dead already now. You know? So, we'll continue. No much protocols. We have prayed. He said, he said, he said, thank you. This will be a short broadcast, but this message goes direct to Nigerian army and every other Nigerian securities that have chosen a language and to be Telling the media to write that very language, IPOB hide out, ESN hide out. There is nothing like IPOB hide out. There is nothing like ESN hide out. ESN have camps. IPOB lives in the houses. IPOB is indigenous people of Biafra. They don't have a hide out. There is no room where IPOB family members are living. Nigerian, Nigerian government knows this. Nigerian security knows this. There is no particular house or room or warehouse where IPOB family members are living. IPOB family members are their friends that joined the movement for the restoration of Biafra, led by Namdekan. There's no place where we gather as a group to be living. We only gather in a meeting. And everybody go their way. We meet in houses. We meet in, um, what is it called? Churches. We meet in different places. We meet in markets. Not every time I feel we hide out. Yes, sir. So, so there is police hide out. If there is ESL hideout, then there is Nigerian Army hideout. There is Nigerian Army hideout. So you can say that this is Nigerian Army, Army camp. This is Nigerian Army base. But coming to ESL, it becomes hideout. Only criminals can have hideout. ESL are not criminal. There is nothing like ESL hideout. There is nothing like ESL um, IPOB hideout. I must go direct to the point now. I must read this. This was this is a news that came up from Delta State. From Nigerian Army and their allies. I want to hit them now. Share this program very, very wide. And this news came from Bunch. Some of us have not come across it. But we are going to do it, we deal with it now. After the program, I will download it and fix these pictures on it. We move. Punch. Right? Let us move. 21 hours ago, photo, troops destroy IPOB hideout in hideout, recover arms. Do you hear this? Do you get the fake, the false information? Do you get it? This is in data set. Let me read. I know why I am reading it. Then I will analyze it. Troops of Nigerian army on, remember the, the first one said photos, did not say video. Mark pick that point because I will analyze with it. Let me start again from Punch newspapers online here, right? 21 hours ago, you go to Punch, you get it. Photos, not videos, photos, troops destroy IPOB hideout in Delta, in Delta, recover arms. Right? Then we move. 
troops of Nigerian army on Saturday destroyed the hideout of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra in Delta State. Follow us, we are reading, don't worry. Don't mind what they are saying. I will analyze it now. The troops of the 63 Brigade garrison under the auspices of the 6th Division Nigerian Army, that troops, the troops worked, worked with the Department of State Services, right? The security operatives during the operation destroyed, listen, the enclave, imagine Nigerian media, destroyed the enclave of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra through Eastern Security Network in Delta State and captured a fleeing fighter. The troop also recovered firearms during the raid on the hideout. Raid on the hideout. Right? Don't worry, we'll get there. Don't worry, I'm getting I'm going there. Now Director of Army Public Relations Brigadier General Olia Mawachuba, I know I can even mention his name without reading from here, on Saturday revealed this feat in a statement shared on the Army's Twitter page. Brigadier Mawachuku said the clearance operation conducted was on a fortified enclave. Do you understand? Located in the middle of a forest, the, the, no wonder they listen to my brokers. I will, call, I will deal with them now. I will not cross you now. So you always listen. Nigerian government, we continue. You, now, you are now saying at the middle of, right? <laughs> but I got one now. Location in the middle of a forest, of a Forested high ground in the early hours of July 22. Now, the statement partly reads The gallant troops overpowered, let's know the gallant troops overpowered. All those things we have been listening to was the concocted stories of Punch newspaper which they will tell you is a, an analysis or something. But let us listen from the army direct. Listen now. The gallant troops overpowered the IPOB fighters. Let's know. You see the propaganda there. In the exchange of fire that followed the encounter. <laughs> Compelling them to abandon their hideout. In this array, the troops captured one of the fleeing fighters and recovered five AK 47 rifles, three pumps, actions, semi automatic rifles, one G3 rifles, and on one single barrel gun. Other items recovered include live cartridge and all those rubbish. Then we move. We move. Can you understand now? Do you now get it? They keep mentioning IPOB hideout, ESN hideout. But let me just first of all go on the issue of IPOB. There is no activity IPOB is carrying on in Biafra land that is, they are not carrying on in abroad. The only thing that is different to the people in Biafra land is that the Nigerian government, are, Nigerian security are lawless security and their country is lawless. They are killing us extrajudicially. If not, 
The same way IPOB meet in the houses, the same way IPOB meet as a family in the houses, dress very well, nothing like arm, nothing because IPOB don't have arm, right? The same way we do it in Biafra land, we have meetings, family meetings. Mothers tell their children to register with IPOB. Parents tell their children to register. Army, Biafran army personnel tell their family members to register with IPOB. Police tell their family members to register with IPOB. Because IPOB is not armed. Do you understand? IPOB protest. You saw IPOB protesting in Aba. I want to ask them that 1st of March 2023, how many victims of Nigerian army did you get in Aba during the killings of peaceful IPOB protesters? Did you get any casualty? The answer is no. So if IPOB have gone, you will just come, you will shoot all of us, you will just go free. None of you will fall victim. Nigerian government, you killed us in National High School on the 9th of February 2016. How many casualties did you secure? Did you have? No casualties. How come you, you always kill us? We, don't, we have weapon, but we don't kill you. How many casualties do you have? No casualties. The killings of IPOB family members in the board, how many armies died? Amnesty said that every victim of IPOB was shot from the back means we were running. If we have gone, somebody that have gone, do you shoot, shoot him from back? Anybody that have gone, you will shoot him from the front because he will be confronting you. The people you shoot from the back are armless people. Now, IPOB, does IPOB gather in a hall? Is IPOB living in a hall? or living in a room, or living in a compound. IPOB are living individually in their houses. In, and we belong to units. According to the place that will be closer to you, or easy to you, for you to attend family meetings. IPOB have nothing like a hideout. It's only criminals that don't even have a house, they don't even live like you, they don't do business with people, they are always living from hotel to hotel. IPOB are in markets, they have shops, they are doing businesses, they have handwork, they have workshops, they are working in offices, they are policemen, we have army, IPOB, all of them. Nobody leaves their duty and come and be sleeping in a hideout, only criminal have hideout. We have businesses, we have works. The same thing with those in abroad. I, they talk about IPOB uh, hideout, IPOB hideout, as if we are bandits. So there is Nigerian army hideout. If even Nigerian army is supposed to be called, uh, they are damn supposed to be called hideout. After all of them are living there. IPOB does not live in a place. IPOB live in their individual houses. They, they live on their own with their families, family members. Not every of your family member will be IPOB family member. You may be IPOB family member. Nobody was convinced to join you. But they support the struggle. And whenever you are called for a meeting, you, you attend meeting and come back to the house. There is nothing like a hideout for IPOB. Nigerian media should stop this lies. They should stop all this mess. How many years will they lie against IPOB with propaganda? IPOB hide out. IPOB hide out. Don't worry, I will go to the comment section to expose stupidity of Nigerians. Let me confess. I have not come to ESM. I am treating the issue of IPOB. We have registered. We have financial. We have everything. The Boko Haram and the bandits, who collects money for them? Sheikh Igumi. IPOB have been going to court. Nigerian government have been breaking houses, kidnapping IPOB. They did not say they get us in a hard out. They come to our houses in Biafra land. They break it. The other way, they happen in Enugu. 
they use salt to cut the hand of that one in his house in the night, not in a hideout. All the IPOB family members that Nigerian government have been kidnapping, they kidnap them in their houses, not in a hideout. All IPOB that are those in Enugu that gathered for tattered men, they were there to pray. Not in a hideout, in a house. The people that are kidnapping in Ebony, in Israeli local government, the people that are kidnapping, we are getting the information of that place, from that place. They, are, they wrote names of members and submitted. Very soon, they will get the result. We move. They go to house, from house to house to kidnap IPOB family members, not in a hideout. We don't have hideout. We live in houses. We do businesses. We are pe people new. We are, we are, we are the same. Don't that you register with IPOB. We live with our people as tenants, as landlords, as shop owners, as a landlord, as a tenants in the shop, in the markets. We have importers, we have everything. We are IPOB. There is nothing like a place where IPOB is hiding out. We don't hide out. If we go for a meeting, we gather. This thing you are showing. Look at what they are showing and call hideout. Look at. When I will bring this one is when I am treating ES and issue. You know, these people are very foolish. Look at them. See where they put flag. See hideout. So this is IPOB ES and hideout. Just imagine the house. A mother house that have no roof, nothing. They just prepare. This is Look, just imagine what a government presented, Nigerian security, Nigerian army presented as something. Let us get another picture. See them. See Nigerian army. Look at their stupidity in Delta State. See what they did on Saturday. Look at where they go to. They put flag. They say it's an ESN hideout. IPOB ESN hideout. I've, I've handled the issue of IPOB because they have never... Um, convicted a single IPOB family member. So, if they keep talking about IPOB, IPOB prescribed, IPOB this, you prescribe IPOB 2017. Since 2017 to 2021, 2022, 2023, you, you have never convicted a single IPOB family member. To prove, in all your criminal charges, you always bring against us, have you jailed us? No. Every time I feel prescribed, tell me a country that will prescribe a people from 2017 till 2023. You have not convicted a single one. Even the leader of IPOB Namdekani, you kidnapped from Kenya, extraordinary rendition into Nigeria. You have not convicted him. He has defeated you. He has been deceived and acquitted. How come you could not be able to convict our leader or sentence him to death? And if you see Nigerian media writing, IPOB prescribed. I be, convict us now. For, convict one IPOB member. Convict us from 2017 to today. How many years? What is the prescription? Prescription, you cannot prosecute it. Prosecute us now as terrorists. Convict us. Convict any of IPOB man, member. Mad people everywhere. Now prescribe IPOB. You are, you are a foolish idiot. Let us go to them. See their Nigerian Army ESN hideout. See the Nigerian Army ESN hideout. We don't do we defeat them. Look at their hideout. Look at their stupidity. They bring their fire flag. They put it there. Then this is what I have been asking them. Is the ESN IPOB um uh, sorry? Is the uh, ESN Biafra Army their size? No. ESN have no business with Biafra flag. ESN was not launched with the Biafra flag. ESN is an anti-security outfit. Sorry, anti-terrorism security outfit. Anti-terrorism security outfit. And especially full and enhancement terrorists. Not even those that uh, parade in communities. But those that parade in the forest and bushes 
in these guys as Fulani headsmen, but they are terrorists, state sponsors. They rape our mothers, they kill them, they cut their past into pieces as they did in Uli. They do everything, they invade communities like in Nimbo and in Soka, they massacre them, they did everything. They have been killing in Ebony, they have been killing in Enugu, they have been killing in different places in Biafra land, both in Delta. That's why ESL was launched as to counter terrorism full and enhancement. Not to do anything criminality, but if you see Nigerian army and their police presenting ESN, you would think as if they are here to save the people. Rather, they want to see if ESN can be demonized so that the road will be clear for Fulani to start invading communities. These people are, they are the people that is facilitating the road for terrorists. That is why when they want to deceive their Nigeria and try to see if they can implicate IPOB after collecting money, they will tell you we invade the IPOB ESN camp. See what they prepared. Tell me, is this an altar or what? Is it pulpit? See what Nigerian army prepared. And tell you, see where they say it is um, hide out. See. See. So they have been wondering how do ESN survive in the bushes? So they can they can I told our Nigerians and our people, Nigerian army cannot go to ESN camp. Is does here look like forest? In Delta, does here look like forest? Look at it. Look from the window. Look at that tree. Does here look like forest? Do you understand? This is what Nigerian government, Nigerian army presented. They see what they presented. They say it's IPOB ESN camp. But they can never march with their leg three hours to any ESN camp in the bushes. They always pack two poles and go to where they prepare. This is very well arranged, very well planned um, blackmailing, thinking that they will succeed because now the country's freedom is at hand. They want to be raising dust. IPOB ESN camp, IPOB ESN hideout. They don't even call camp. But only Nigerian army, they will say, I Nigerian army camp. But we our own. We even, I am here now. I'm not in any, I'm not with, in any hideout. I am in the house. The same thing with other IPOB family members. They will say IPOB hideout. IPOB, ESN does not have hideout. ESN themselves have camp. Can you invade their, their camp? Their size, no. But let us go and see the stupidity of Nigerians. Just follow me now to the comment section. This is punch. See what they are, they are. These are people that told you we want to go to Nigeria when their security agencies lie to them, they will be praising them. Right? But when Nigeria disobey court order, they will be praising them also. This is how devilish Nigerians are. Look at their comments and I'll read and I'll call the name of their page. George E. Graphics is a Facebook handle. God bless the Nigerian army for telling them that they invade ESN IPOB hideout. It is all lie. This is propaganda. I call your name. I'm just trying to show you your stupidity. See the second person. Ego Oyibo Amaka. I love the flag. That is Biafran. Thank you. Thank you. The sun shining. Now, Baba Tunde Awobaju. Kudos to our gallant soldiers. Adeku, Adekowe, Olawole, Yoruba again. Almighty Allah will always protect you and your family, Nigeria Army. Muhammad Tanko, good job, Nigeria Army. Adeni Wenga, Yoruba, 
Well done, sir. Nigeria Army. Glakale Njoko. Good job. Now today, Boko De Busho. I continue. I know why I'm reading this. Denge Emmanuel. With the new flag that's so neat with lines. Tunji Olaniyi Oriyomi. Kudos to our gallant soldiers. Last. Do you understand? Did you understand? Aro, Aro Kese. Okay, Aroke Ezekiel. Aroke Ezekiel. Well done, Ami. Do you understand? That is to show you the stupidity. I don't want to continue. Stupidity of Nigerian citizens. These are people that they told you. We, not, we want to Nigeria. We want to new Nigeria. You see how they hate the people from the East. You see how they hate people from the East. All over the North, there is killing going on. But if you go to the media houses, they will be discussing and secreting the East in order to push the army to kill innocent people. Nigerian media is the problem of Nigerians. And Nigerian citizens are the problem. The lives of these people that commented, they are the problem they have. Their government disobey court order. They have never confronted their government. Nandekanu told them that their president died. When Nandekanu was brought here, none of them challenged the attorney general to add it in the charges against Nandekanu. None of them sued Nandekanu. Because they knew that their president is dead. To show you how hypocritical they are. They knew their president died. Had they, if they didn't know, why is it that a team of lawyers, Nigerian lawyers, did not stand firmly to defend the image of their country by suing them and becoming to court? Do you understand? Look at what they say, ESN come. Um, ESN hideout. IPOB hideout. These are foolish Nigerian, cowardice Nigerian soldiers. They gather in a place in the bush, Now, they will go two posts from the main road, they will park their vehicle, they will go to where they kept flag. They will picture it. What I have been telling the Nigerian army is that, why is it that your troop is always incomplete? How? Why can't you go with a live video when you are confronting this? Is it not Nigerian army again? So, if you eventually confront criminals, you will rush, go and bring Biafra flag and put it there. Because you know there is a people that have been shaking your government with the truth and the honesty, IPOB. So you will rush, you will go and bring Biafra flag. Or you go to any uncompleted building, you go and bring Biafra flag. You will bring guns. You know, you know if a businessman is seen with gun. That's when you'll be asking him, how do you think he's the one who has this gun? How did, where did he get the gun? But when you see Nigerian security, show you a picture where there is gun, they drop guns. They tell you it's the IPOB ESN. Is it to convince school when you deal with arms? You are the dealer of arms. You can bring any type of gun and present. So can people be convinced when Nigeria security agencies presented guns as an evidence or exhibit, I cannot believe it because they are dealing with them with ammunition and they have never said truth for a while. They killed our system to 70, they never said truth. Do you understand? Now we ask them Was ESN launched with the Biafra flag? Go and get us the pictures. Was ESN launched with the Biafra flag? No. Why do you always bring flag to keep in a place? Look at a place. So if 
you are ESL personnel, you will be here. Does it, when do ESL have chance to build mod? When? When do ESL have chance to build mod house in, 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 in around the compound? Because this is around the compound. This is around the compound, not forest. Look at the environment. Follow the window now. Follow the window to see. Follow the window to see. Follow. Let me come up. Okay, follow the window to see. See Nigerian army. See, see the, not window. This is not window. Just that open place. Right? Look now. This is around the compound. That's why there is no video. They told the punch to publish it. We continue. I have little interruption there. Do you understand? See, just look by yourself. See another flag they keep on the ground. Do you understand? This is just Chinese play because this is not the act of secret. Why is it that they are never complete in their, in their mission? How do you go without media? What makes you complete truth? Can't you go live when you are confronting this your lies? You always call ESM. Why is it that you don't go live? Every time you bring picture, you will give it to media house and tell them what to, to write it. They will write it. IPOB ESM hideout. There is nothing like IPOB ESM hideout. Nigerian army swear if you have invaded any ESM camp. Swear now. So uh, when ESM and IPOB was launched, when I am um, ESM was launched, the whole criminal stopped. So why is it that no more criminal? No more kidnappers. No more. IPOB ESM. IPOB ESM. Do you think that black men will stop us? He didn't stop us eh, for years. Is it now? Is it now you are going to stop us? Global terrorism index gave, added our name. Within a few days, they removed our name. What can you do to us? You cannot jail a can, You cannot jail a single IPOB family member. Nigerian security agencies stop, 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 stop this rubbish. ESN does not do criminality. ESN, if full and ES men and the bandits and Boko Haram have not been doing all they are, all they are doing in the favor of Nigerian government. Why is it that they don't do propaganda against Boko Haram um, Fulani S men like this? How many times have they shown you hideout of Fulani S men? How many times? But they are in Nimbo, when they killed us in Nimbo, Nimbo massacre. Did the Nigerian army show us Fulani S men hideout? The other day they killed us in Ehamufu. Did the Nigerian army come to Yamufu and show you full and men held out? Those that massacred. But they will go to a place like this. They say, I give you ESL hide out. Doing what? Where is the hideout of full and that killed many people? Where is the hideout? Where is the hideout of the full and Hesman terrorists that massacred our people in, um, what is it called? In Yamufu? Where is the hideout of Flani S men that are killing us in Delta? The same Delta state. Where is their hideout? Where is the hideout to? No, I am the yes, hideout. Where is the hideout of these bandits? You cannot show us. Remember that is the picture. It's a picture, not reality. Picture. We need video evidences. Show us video when you we are shooting fire. Hey, shooting. We are on fire with IPOB, ESM, mad people, stupid army everywhere. Imagine how all of you are getting tired when IPOB have not picked up gun. You are getting tired. You are now gossiping. You are now gossiping. You send Onya Mamachuku. You just write something with the name of Onya Mamachuku. That's all. Show us where you have attempted to defeat IPOB. Will you propaganda defeat us? 
Can you go inside the forest and confront ESM? You have been coming to IPOB family meetings to kidnap us. You knew we meet in the houses. We don't have a hideout. We come from different houses to meet. How come you say IPOB hideout? You know ESM does not have hideout. ESM has camps in the bushes and forests. Can you go to ESM camp? Can you go to ESM um, camp in the bush or any forest? The answer is no. Can you march three hours on the, your, with your leg inside the bush? The answer is no. Because you always like to, to pack your vehicle closer. As a coward as I saw all of you, Nigerian securities are. So that there is more shooting, all of you enter your vehicle and run. Isn't it? Can you go inside the bush? Every time you see some Nigerian idiot, they will go to comment section. That's good for them. That's good for them. As if they do anything. They didn't do anything. Highest, they will be, they will start kidnapping innocent people. They will tell you it's a suspected IPOB. They will tell you it's a suspected ESN. They will tell you it's ESN campaign. They will tell you it's ESN commander. They will tell you it's IPOB. All our lies. There is no hideout, IPOB hideout. We don't have hideout. We are in the market. We are everywhere. We have IPOB meeting in Lagos. We have in Ogun State. We have in um, Oyo State. We have in Oshun State. We have in the Kiti State. We have in um, in the North, Northern State. All these states, we have IPOB. They do their business. They gather in family meetings. There's nothing like a hideout. We don't do hideout. In abroad, we live in our different houses. When we call for a protest, we gather. There's nothing like a hideout. You present this rubbish, you say POB hideout. Where can enter us here? Where? Where will enter us here? Hideout. So ESL will now go and build a um, murder house in the bush. Murder house in the bush to be living. Doing what? ESM moves from camps, they go to work to confront Flanny Hesman. You are surprised how they are surviving in the bush without a house. That's why you cannot compromise it. Uh, sorry, you, are, you cannot comprehend it. So you ended up in um, bringing this uh, rubbish mud house closer to the compound. Why can't you video and get us the premises around there? Why do you choose to lie, Nigerian Army? Why? You cannot comprehend the truth. No. To cover truth with lie and propaganda and blackmail, it will not work. You will try it, but it will fail because truth will always stand. ESN is for the defense of the people against the state-sponsored terrorists Fulani Hesmen. And they will continue to defend the people against Fulani Hesmen terrorists. ESN does not attack army barrack. ESN does not attack police station. ESN does not attack market. ESN does not enforce sit at home. ESN have no business with civility. ESN duty is special against Fulani Hesmen. Nigerian army should not be angry. Because they are the people facilitating Fulani Hesman terrorists. So ESN is fighting them. So every time they will try to blackmail them. I give ESN a hideout. Why can't you stop Fulani Hesman from invading our land? For how many decades now you all of you have been invading our land? Killing us. Every time. When you kill, you lie. This one, ESN is there. You cannot be doing that and again. The next one is to be lying against ESM, against IPOB. If IPOB have gone, why do we implement civil disobedience, sit at home? You say that we, to protest, we, we don't want to protest or what? If we have gone, when Nigerian security agencies kill us during peaceful protests, the next tomorrow protest will come with gun, but we don't have gone. After killing us from year to year, we resolve to implement this at home. So I wonder every time they will come up and say, IPOB is a hideout. If we have hideout, having guns, what is the meaning of implementing it at home?
It is for us to start fighting now. But we never confronted you. Every time it's IPOB, IPOB terrorists, IPOB Jews, show us Nigerian army victim. When you kill two people in our nature. 30th of August 2015. On Sunday, 29 injured, two dead. Show us Nigerian army or police victim. Show us. To show that we have gone, we confronted you. Oh, yeah, show us your victim. 9th of February. Aba National High School, Aba Massacre. Killings of IPOB family member by Nigerian security agencies. Show us your victim. The videos are there. Where are you even to the end? To the extent you pick our flag, start flogging us, killing us. To the extent that one side of the fence fell, we push it down while we were running with the force. You were shooting us. You first of all threw show gas, uh, tear gas. Everybody was like blind or something. Then you started shooting. Show me your victim. Show me Nigerian army victim. Show me. Nigerian mobile victim, mobile police victim, show me. You cannot show us. Now, reaching to Mbo on the 29th, stroke 30th May, 29th night, stroke 30th May, Nigerian security agencies killed us in Mbo. To the extent they even went to the hospital to take those that we rushed to the hospital. They took them and got killed them. There is a graveyard in Onecha Barak today where the true IPB few of that is not all of us because that place they feel that place so many of them they went to they created another graveyard in the bushes in Anamba. By Obiano, he killed us. Show us Nigerian army victim then. No one. We went to um Iwacha, you call Port Harcourt, 20th of January 2017, to march in solidarity with Donald Trump. As we were peacefully protesting, we were massacred by Nigerian security agencies. They were shooting us live bullets. They saw we don't have gun. They started shooting. They killed us. Show us your victim. No one. The Nigerian government killed us in Emene, 23rd of August 2020. Show us your victim. No victim. If we have gone, you can never hear about it at all. Why do you always choose to lie? ESN that have gone, they operate in the bushes against Fulani Hesman terrorists, and you cannot stop them. Why do you say IPOB is a hideout? Is it to make it sweet? IPOB prescription, this one you used to add, prescribe IPOB, prescribe. We are asking you, when will you jail a single IPOB family member as you claim they are prescribed? Can't you jail us? You cannot jail a single IPOB family member. And you open your mouth, you say prescribed. Since 2017, you proscribe us, you cannot jail a single one. Even our leader, you cannot jail him. So, what is this? The, where are you relying? What is the basis of this your prescription? I thought you would have prosecuted us as terrorists and jail us as terrorists. But uh, today, your courts have been freeing us. What is the essence of this pronouncement? Always, this inciting, it is inciting, inciting statement. That is inciting because that one is rubbish. Cowardice. Prescribe. Prescribe is cowardice of Nigerian government. It shows their idiocy that they have nothing to hold IPOP with just to go on illegal prescription. And we went to court to challenge them. They refused to hear the case. They refused to today. Since 2018 to today. They refused. This is the message I bring to our people. And the message goes to Nigeria Army and other security agencies. Stop this propaganda. Stop this very false information. You cannot use it blackmailing to destroy IPOB. We will keep saying the truth about your atrocities against our people. 
You cannot stop us and Biafra will come. None the country must be freed. Must. Not under pardon, not amnesty, because she has been decided and acquitted. Amnesty can be granted to somebody, a convict, lifer, or condemned criminal. That is where you will see executive power. Not on a decided and acquitted man, a freed man. You have to free him as ordered by the court. Not under, under pardon. You don't pardon Namdekan. You can only pardon somebody that is waiting for trial or somebody that has already been convicted. Not somebody that was decided and acquitted. That's what we are telling our people and also telling Nigerians. And I am branding it up here. Thank you, Mochineke. Share it very wide. I didn't prepare to broadcast, but I just saw this thing and I have to bring it up. Send this message very, very far. I remain the fearless IPOB Pandora Smart, the mother to my people. From me to from here, it is. What says the time? It is good afternoon.